our communities are broken. Why we're still broken is because we learn from who teaches us. So if we're being taught to be broken, we're going to be broken. And not only that, we're going to teach our kids to be broken. So we're trying to break these cycles because there's something about when you help someone get a paycheck, the dignity of getting a paycheck and not just giving them a handout. Small businesses are vital to Kaiser Permanente. Small businesses drive the economy. So if we're going to be successful, we really need small businesses to flourish. They're the people who improve the wellness and prosperity of a community. One such business is the good soil industries. I love their mission statement where they said they are focusing on hard to hire individuals to get them out of poverty. Good Soil Industries is a second chance jobs program that hires males coming out of drug treatment facilities and out of jails, prisons. We are really trying to partner with them and help them to bring them to the next level. Good morning, everyone. Through the inner city capital connections, we were learning how to run a business properly. Locality Hollywood. We brought small businesses together with academic leaders, banks, finding companies in inner cities, equity investors, other business experts, other associations. We focus on a culture of ownership and accountability. Now we're looking at sort of a collective investment in the social capital of our communities. And to see them go through the classes and for their eyes to open and understand more about strategy is amazing. I don't know anywhere else where you could uh, go and get schooled from Princeton, Harvard, Columbia, and all these different professional schools for free. I learned how to evaluate what the difference is between commercial properties, residential properties, which one's more profitable, which one do we want to get, and so we're going after the ones that we want, not just who will take us. And the more we can educate them on how to build their businesses, again, the better it's going to be for those communities. When you're in jail and in rehab, you're networking with negative people. So you're trying to change to a positive behavior. Like if it's a job that you don't want, but you think of someone that might want it, you just post it out there. And so what happens is, is people in your network know that you're looking for a job. When you find different opportunities, you're sharing it with other people. It's a two-way street. That's what networking is all about. We want to find those opportunities for people to create shared value. Where we're doing good business, but we're also doing good for the community. But some of the sobering figures are that one third of our population do not have a high school diploma. A lot of people get up on a program, they still don't got no goal. So we're trying to teach them how to get a career with a livable wage. If we get them another minimum wage job, they're never going to make it. And then when they're behind, their first thought comes back to what they know how to do. And what they know how to do is crime. There's a lot of guys that go home without a job and they got too much time in their hands and right away they go back into the lifestyle. No one has to go back to prison. No one has to commit crime. It's all choices. If I wanted something for my kids, of course I would have to break the law, but not no more. I feel proud about myself actually reaching into my pocket and, and, and being able to buy my kids something with earned money. That's a big difference in my life. Teach your kids to be good fathers. Teach your kids to, to honor work. And with programs like this that we're teaching them how to live, we're breaking the cycle. So if there's an opportunity for us where we can promote local economic uh, growth and prosperity, uh, we're going to take our chances. And their success will be leading to ultimately our success. Making people healthier, it, you know, what, what could be a better job than that to come in and do every day? And we're honored how Kaiser says, hey, we're going to hire Good Soil to mow our lawns. They're changing lives through that. That's like our community trying to be whole again. And this is what we want to be part of. Thank you.